Well, you know, I was looking, uh, I mean, trying all kinds of uh, disciplines within the art, mainly visual arts. Although I used to dance, I used to sing, but, <laughs> uh, but I was trying to paint, to draw, to, to print, and really the printmaking is the closest to my heart. Because I like that certain precision in it, and even though I cannot do printing as such anymore because of physical uh, difficulties, you know, when you do etching, you have to do additioning. And just to clean those darn plates, <laughs> uh, my shoulders go out. So it was a long time I was painfully aware that how am I going to do that if I can't do that? <laughs> and then uh, I realized I can combine the painting and the printing. And that hit me already when I, because when I came to States, I enrolled at P uh, P uh, PSU. And uh, Jim Hibbert, I had him for printing and I had him for drawing. And I told him, I remember at one point, I'd love to be able to combine the drawing and painting, uh, I mean the painting and printing together. And I think, these are closest to what I then, you know, blurted out without really thinking about how to do that. Because these, the, the uh, lower the, the layers, the first painted layers, the colors, were really painted on a plexi of paint. And uh, although I like to rather roll the paint than to brush it because I like that cleanness of the shapes. And if I want to add texture, I add texture with my will, not just because it happens. Uh, and then the printing gets over it, you know, and those are um, linoleum cut. Uh, in some ways, uh, engraving, uh, and some of it just uh, printing off of man-made things, or drawing, even drawing, like that one is a drawing. But I think I'm running away uh, ahead of myself. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, it was not easy to really get to this point. It takes a long time to grow and to wise up um, because one first really searches how to convey what I feel, what I uh, perceive in the world. And to me, really, art is communication. I don't uh, create art just for pleasure, although there is a big pleasure in it, in the process of doing it. But I am really trying to uh, express my view of the world. It's uh, Sandy mentioned twisted sense of humor. We both have it. <laughs> <laughs> and it shows in the world. And if you knew uh, Sandy's work before, darn it, there is a lot of it. <laughs> and in my work too, you know, when you uh, the first image over there is really a sort of, one could say, cynical view. But um, at the same time, I'm trying first to lure the viewer into a sensual feeling. Uh, people liked those three um, variations over there because they have colors and, you know, you, the textures you can look into before they realize what am I looking at? <laughs> what do you mean? And that, that took a long time to be, you know, for me to be able to do that. Um, I have a whole series of pastels of body landscapes trying to, again, express 
we are part of it. The body is part of the nature of the landscape. So, so you know, <laughs> playing around, trying to convey in various ways, and I like the challenge of it. How to say it differently. <laughs> and it, it took me, I've been doing this kind of approach to uh, environmental art, environmentally oriented feelings for some 20 years. Um, and I was really, really glad that last year somebody really noticed. Because <laughs> I was part of that uh, West, art, West, Northwest artists uh, in on a, a landscape, no, on a environment, and it had a, it had a title. There was a subtitle. It had a title: uh, critical messages, and it's been traveling from Bellevue, uh, Washington University to Salem the uh, Halliford University and, I mean, a uh, museum, and now it's in Boise until mid <coughs> this month, if it comes back. So, uh, you know, it takes a long time for artists to sort of be noticed, but you have to uh, persevere. And the perseverance is part of doing art. Because you can't help it. You just have to do it. I tried several times because I had some, as I said, upheavals in my life and it was very difficult to continue and I said, okay, I can't do it, I, I quit. After three weeks, I got sick, physically. So at one point I decided, all right, I will have to somehow combine it. <laughs> so here I am. Getting off to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to hear you specifically talk about risk taking. The if risk taking. If you're willing to talk about risk taking as a risk. Well, yes. Um, about enjoying the work, um, and, and I, I will give him credit for this. Um, and Nelson Sangren loved to make art. He had a Volkswagen bus, and you hear this Volkswagen bus coming up with the horn honking, let's go paint. Mm -hmm. And so there was always this joy to embrace the image, to, to partake in this process, and to get totally lost and not care. Um, it was this wonderful altered universe. So, with me and the paintings that I have done where I've dealt with religious themes and rather cynical, <laughs> hard-hitting, twisted black humor um, environmental themes, it was always pushing that edge of how close to trite I could get, uh, how close to hackneyed. I mean, how did you pull back? Where was that fine line? And I thought that the only way I could get away with it was to know my craft. So that's why I really, I love the painting, but there's always been, if I set it well enough, I could get away with anything. And so that's how I really have, and a two-dimensional painter way I use the uh, risk taking. Plus, I had a very wise, graduate prof who just, I mean, I just snibbled in the corner for a couple of months after his comment, but it was one of the wisest things I've ever heard. And after one of the critiques that you suffered through every semester, he, he said, you know, you are a really good draftsman and painter. He said, when are you going to hang it on something? And I thought, Ooh, that was harsh. <laughs> and, and I thought, well, you're right. Why not? Uh, why not push the technique? Why not just do what I want and not care? And that's when I, I think, really decided to heck with it. And with this show, it is 
landscape. And I think I said in my statement that is landscape enough? Is just landscape anymore enough? Because we're so saturated with it. And it's so part of Western civilization and especially, you know, painting. The landscape is the landscape is the landscape. I have to act with it. I love these places that I see every day living on the coast. I live in Newport. And I just loved them. And I thought, unabashedly, just loved them. So I thought, well, I'm going to paint them. Don't care, don't care. And that <laughs> really has been where I, I started from. Um, I, the place was first, and then I figured out the size, and then I figured out the time of day and the color, and went from there. Is that yeah, so how did, did, did you, by, by having that not care attitude, which is to me was taking, did you really learn something about your landscape? I mean, did you learn something about either the way you paint landscapes or about the physical place that you, that, that you love? Did you discover some new things about it? Yeah, I, think I can paint better than I could five years ago. That was the biggest thing. I looked at these paintings against, and this was quite by accident, since I don't sell all of my work. I have <laughs> quite a bit in, in my studio in the racks. And I was moving some paintings out that I'd done that I was just enamored with. I thought they were so darn good that, you know, five years ago, and didn't think I could surpass that. And brought it out and against these, and I thought, these are better. There is something, maybe old isn't so bad, <laughs> As you get, if you do keep learning. And so I was really surprised at that. That was a nice shock. Well, I was interested in that because five years ago, the one you're talking about, would, would that have been a, a political painting or some kind of an environmental statement? Yeah, it was more, yeah. So then you're talking about just the uh, uh, technique. Yeah, of more the technique of okay. how you handle it. And then, and then using it, of course, on, on, on landscape. Yeah. 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 yeah, but there is a spirit. Yeah. Right. You know, some landscapes are just landscapes, mm -hmm. but there is a spirit around. <laughs> <laughs>